full blown acceleration and see if this is quick. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing a 2022 Ram 3500 Black Widow. This is going to be a pretty crazy review. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram here in Provo, Utah, for giving me some time with this Black Widow truck. Check out the inventory in the description down below. This one is available for sale right now if you're interested. On a side note, if you can save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into the video. So sadly, this particular truck is not a ho, haha, -ha, get it, because this one doesn't have the high output Cummins. This one just has the regular Cummins. So it's a 6.7 liter inline six turbo diesel. It's paired to a six speed automatic transmission known as the 68 RFE. It's good for 370 horsepower and then 850 pound feet of torque. Now let's quickly go over the features on this Black Widow truck. Since I've already reviewed quite a few Ram 3500 Laramies, we're just going to focus mostly on the Black Widow stuff and touch base on a few things uh, that come with the Laramie package as well. And again, this is based off of a Laramie, if you guys are wondering. Anyways, we have the 3500 Heavy Duty Badge, which is always a cool thing. Notice Black Widow there at the top. This one has cab lights here as well. And then the Laramie comes standard with these LED headlights. You've got the daytime running lights here at the top and at the bottom. And we have this gigantic chrome front grille and then also chrome bumper as well with tow hooks and parking sensors. And they do have the stock air dam. They don't remove that as part of the Black Widow package. But you guys can see this has a crazy stance. Now popping to the side here, we have 37 inch tall tires. That is correct. They are wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front and in the rear. Uh, these are mud terrain tires as you guys can see. And look at the wheels here. It's got the Black Widow logo there in the center and then notice like the silver and yeah, I think it looks really cool overall and just look how aggressive these tires are. And this truck does have a five inch suspension lift as you guys can see from BDS. And then notice here with the shocks that they've added as well. Right there as part of the system which is pretty cool. We've got our Cummins turbo diesel badge. We got another Black Widow logo here on the side. This one does have the trailer mirrors, chrome on the door handles. And let me tell you, this truck is gigantic. And I think it's hilarious that this truck kind of makes the 37s look not that large because of how big this truck actually is. Now being a Ram 3500, that creates an interesting thing here in the back because it has leaf springs. This is the only Ram that has, well, if 3500s and above have leaf springs, whereas the Black Widow truck with like a 2500 has coil suspension. And we'll kind of talk about that more when we drive it. And you guys can see again with the shocks here, here's a better look at those shocks. Solid rear axle here with the truck. And then notice here with the taillights, you got the LED taillights that comes in with the Laramie, Laramie badge. Got Black Widow back here and then also there as well. Now I'm gonna drop this down because I wanna see how high this is. So <laughs> yeah, loading stuff up into this would be pretty interesting. This is probably like four feet off the ground. And then notice we've got a full power outlet here. In the bed, we got LED bed lights as well. Pretty cool. Got the LED cargo light there at the top. There we go. Ah! I guess I didn't close it. I thought I did. Anyways, here's your full kind of like side view. Actually, go from the other side because it's a little bit easier there with the sun. There we go. So this is more of an impromptu video since I reviewed quite a few of these. And also the fender flares just make this look super aggressive. Now popping inside of the truck, power side steps. And then we've got the normal Laramie interior here with the door panel. And then the seats as well have not been changed from stock. This one does not have heated seats or anything in the back, just has the charging ports and everything. Now being a crew cab, um, it is, it's, it's still pretty spacious, but it's not nearly as spacious as like a mega cab or like the new Ram 1500 cab. They still haven't changed this. And then steps almost went up, but then they didn't. Uh, here's door panel in the front, as you guys can see again. Got Black Widow here in the headrest, but the rest of the seat has been left to stock. It's kind of a funny way to say it, left to stock. Now you still have to kind of step up quite a bit and then also use the grab handle to really get in because this truck is enormous. You guys can see here, we've got the custom Black Widow gauge cluster as well. Uh, and then everything else looks stock. This one's got the Alpine sound system. We've got the 12 inch display here. I don't think this one has a 360 camera. Yeah, we just have the regular backup camera here with the truck. 
Um, aside from that, heated cold seats, heated steering wheel, because it's a Laramie dual zone climate. We've got a bunch of auxiliary switches here down below. Diesel exhaust brake, right, because it's diesel trailer brake controls. Um, and then notice here, we've got four wheel high, four wheel low, two wheel drive, no four wheel auto or anything like that. And then we've got the center console with this particular truck, as you guys can see. And then notice says Laramie there on the glove box. Uh, no center for anything, but uh, power setting window is standard here. Uh, and this one just has the traditional mirror, no camera mirror or anything like that. And shut it off. Doo -doo -doo. You know what I'm curious to hear about is, I wonder if these are actually Fox shocks that are just Black Widow badged now because Fox owns Black Widow. And so if you guys know, let me know. But I, I bet that's the case because yeah, and if you guys don't believe me, literally there's a Fox paper right there and also here on the steering wheel, Fox factory. So I bet those are Fox shocks just with Black Widow badging. Um, here is the window sticker on this truck. So base price was $60,000. This Laramie was equipped up to $78,720. Um, so the bed utility group, Laramie level C equipment group. Just have the regular Cummins, which is a $9,500 upgrade and a few other options like the 12 inch display. Now that doesn't include the Black Widow package. The Black Widow package is another $21,000 on top of that 21,413 to be exact. Comes with a three or 36,000 mile warranty. It's compliant with all regulations. And so if you add these together, um, well, maybe you shouldn't because it's basically $100,000. Let's see how she scoots. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both of the mirrors, again, this has the trailer tow mirrors, which do flip up and then throw the rest of the rear. And let's set off. Starting here in the parking lot, so you guys can see the turning radius or lack of. It's very, 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 very wide. Holy guacamole. Wow. Yeah, it definitely takes a second for this thing to uh, crank it. Um, anyways. You know, first setting off here in the truck, again, still in the parking lot, don't worry, we'll get off, we'll get onto the road in just a moment. Um, it's actually pretty comfortable. And that's something that I love about 37s is they definitely absorb quite a bit. And so even, you know, a vehicle that rides rougher from a suspension standpoint can sometimes feel relatively uh, comfortable in terms of the ride quality, right? But also the tires aren't too loud so far, but we gotta get up to higher speeds to really see how they perform. Something else that I'm noticing is, my ventilated seat's not all the way on, there we go. It is so hot today. Thermostat's still reading 111 degrees. Good gravy. Um, yeah, turning radius is solid from around a roundabout, but obviously full turning radius, not as solid. So, let's kind of see coming around here. Yeah, it, this doesn't feel too difficult to drive. It's actually pretty, uh, comfortable from a driving perspective. Torque is great. See what it's like when we go full throttle. And that's one thing that I like about this version of the Cummins is even though it's down on torque by a substantial margin compared to the high output, you don't really feel a difference unless you're towing is what a lot of people have told me. Hopefully I can experience that firsthand one day. You know, the difference between both of them. But yeah, I mean, so far this is pretty comfortable. It's easy to drive. Um, it doesn't feel quite as smooth as a 2500 with a coil suspension, but it's a lot smoother than I expected. That's for sure. And I'm wondering if that's because they're, you know, doing different shocks now with this, now that uh, Black Widow is owned by Fox. And I, I think that that could be a large um, part of it. Um, but other than that, you know, normal Laramie stuff, like nice, it's, it's a nice interior, right? You've got padding. Everywhere with stitching, seats are comfortable. Again, ventilated, which is very nice when it is hot outside. Definitely helps you keep cool and not sweat over everything. And let's get our full blown acceleration and see if this is quick. Eh, I wouldn't call it quick, but it's able to move the tires, that's for sure. Yeah, I definitely would not call that quick by any means. But again, for being a truck that's lifted five inches and has 37s, it's more than enough. I think for most people, you're gonna be completely fine with how this accelerates now. 
fuel economy is not going to be accurate, but I'm still interested to see. Also, the tire pressure is set pretty high. So this is an interesting thing with heavy duties for towing. 16.1. Again, this isn't, you know, broken in with tons and tons and tons of miles. So, you know, we'll it, time would tell what the actual fuel economy would be, but that's the benefit of lifted diesels over lifted gas engines, right? Is you can still get decent fuel economy with crazy big tires and a crazy lift. Whereas with, uh, you know, traditional internal combustion, well, just gas car, this is internal combustion as well, sorry. Again, the heat's getting to my brain. Um, with the traditional gas car, you definitely do lose quite a bit more. And so, yeah, I think this is a pretty cool looking truck on the outside. Um, interior is normal Laramie. It's got some Black Widow stuff, but not a ton. Um, in fact, as a warranty is great. Again, the shocks, I'd be interested to hear about those because this rode a lot smoother than I thought. I thought this was gonna frankly drive like crap. Um, I know that that's me, me like having harsh impressions coming into this, but it's a 3500 and the 2500 has coil suspension. Leaf springs just don't drive as good, but this drives a lot smoother than I expected. This is very well sorted out. So good job to the team at Black Widow on this one. Um, I'm impressed. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. I think this is pretty cool and if they're going to be doing solid shocks and all their builds from now on, um, you know, because they're owned by Fox, I am all about that because that was a really good driving experience. That's because something's up for our video on this Black Widow Ram 3500. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram here in Pro before giving me some time with this truck. Check out the intro in the description down below. I will see all of you in the next video.